What if Stone Free evolved? Well, we have some suitable bases to build off of this idea here. First, there's the part four wave evolution with a stand like Killer Queen Bites the Dust, and then there's part five with the in quote Requiem stands like Chariot Requiem and Gold Experience Requiem. But finally though, I have a little surprise at the end. This version, drawn by Kuma, is our part four style of evolution. This is called Stone Free The Breakdown. The breakdown in the name refers to a breakdown in music and, you know, a little, a little nod to the final OP. Uh, but now, here's the money. Stone Free's new power can break anything physical down into strings. But there's, let's say, more than that. For example, Stone Free breaks a car down to many threads, very many threads. If reverted, it returns to the same material. In addition to that, it sort of works like how Crazy Diamond works, because you can make new things using the same material. Like, you can make a door into a sphere. It's just gonna be a sphere made of door, sort of like, you know, like Full Metal Alchemist does it. So here's a scenario. Imagine an enemy stand user throws a whole car at Jolene. Stone Free, the breakdown, punches it once to turn it into a net then grabs it and throws it back at them while the person is getting ready to dodge or deal with the net you know by even cutting it it just turns back into a whole entire car what the hell and then boom they get destroyed one of the ideas i had for incorporating the ability was breaking something down and using it as a sort of armor because then you'd be able to wrap it around your body. Imagine Kevin Eleven from Ben 10 and his ability to absorb something and become it. It can be used similarly like that once made into threads. I wanted a stand ability that just doesn't get too far away from the concept of Stone Free. They already have extraordinary skills and Jolene is strongly adaptable and intelligent. So Stone Free really doesn't need that much to be added in to step over the line of really good and snapped almost. Now for as to why, well Bites the Dust wasn't too different from regular Killer Queen in terms of design, so I didn't want the most done for it, you know, because Bites the Dust was just a miniature version, so it'd be weird to overdo the design, you know. Uh, as for the ability methodology, I wanted to apply it enough to Jolene's many situations. We could have been as specific as Bites the Dust was, as it would just be a one-to-one -one ability for the scenario present, but I wanted to create a more so overall ability and make this like stand general use than to double up in such a specific area. And it isn't a bad thing by any means for Bites the Dust being a specific stand. I just personally was not trying to do that with this year. The next stand design concept will follow the part five design philosophy to an extent. Uh, let's call this, you know, stone free experience. This keeps the namesake of Jimi Hendrix in mind with adding the experience, you know, the Jimi Hendrix experience and also twiddles around with, you know, gold experience, like the fact that this is happening in part five. Uh, the ability makes time and space manipulatable concepts in the form of strings. Similar to a puppeteer, or you know, like the thread master with uh, people that make the carpets and stuff, uh, Jolene controls the pace of reality. It does not require a motion of action to activate it either. Instead, it runs, you know, automatically, just like how GR would. Intending to keep Jolene's interest intact, things like making it so that her friends are safe, or you know, things like staying alive. Uh, here's an example. Imagine if Jolene fought with just like, this straight powerhouse, right? They are swift, strong, just this uh, powerhouse. With the flick of her wrist, Jolene moves with the same speed as her opponent. The wrist motion, you know, is for show, to reiterate that. It's just for the, you know, theatrics. Like, ah, you know, look, look, looks a little cool, has some music to it maybe. Uh, when Jolene hits them, the Stone Free experience can do something like change the mass of the punch. Uh, with the ability to control both time and space though, she could just make them like not exist. But you know, like Jolene likes putting the hands on people. So we're keeping that intact. Now for the part five methodology in terms of designing, Araki made a design like GER with all the themes and poetry and like dichotomy of the story like in mind between Diavolo 
and Jarno. Like, Araki put his whole foot into making GER. The ability is similar to Bites the Dust because of how Araki crafts it for the final situation. Like, it, it was scenario based, but it became like a general overall ability because of how well it was incorporated. But something important that separates part five stands from Bites the Dust stands too uh, is sentience. Uh, Chariot Requiem, an incomplete stand, carries out its objective with a lot of friendly fire because it's chaotic, it's unfinished, it's incomplete. But on the other hand, you have a stand like GR, which is like intelligence itself with a primary purpose and a mind that we couldn't even comprehend. So I'm going to be retaining the sentience as does a staple in design here. But for now, we are finally ready for the surprise. Introducing our part six style of evolution, we have Stone Free Painted Soul. First, I'd like to let the music fans guess the namesake of Design Alone. You can pause the video, but I will be saying it now. The namesake, get this, is also from Queen, for those that know. I narrowed it down, uh, so now you can guess which one, but uh, what song is it? I'm gonna be answering that now also. Uh, the piece in question is The Show Must Go On. One of the songs I believe to be vastly underrated. The reasoning behind this is that while Poochie bases his character and beliefs on heaven, Dio, and fate, Jolene works based in life and reality, friendship, fate, still present, but that's not the point. So when I picked a song like the show must go on. I'm playing on that life is the show. The show moving forward is pushing past what was meant to end her. With this stand, Jolene breaks free from the game set against her. And Freddie Mercury, you know, singing, my soul is painted like the wings on butterflies. Fairy tales of yesterday grow but never die. And he's like, I can fly, my friends. You know, like that's how the, the song went. And I imagine that it's Stone Free breaking out of once was her cocoon, like G.E.R. And Jolene and her stand rise from the ground. Jolene with a slight tear in her eye looks to us and whispers, painted soul, something like that. <laughs> now, what's the ability? Well, what? do you think the ability should be? It's up to you. I already had an idea in mind. It's already written down, but all I wanted to show you here was my idea of a scene. I don't want to influence y'all idea of what the power could be, so I'm leaving it to y'all. You know, you could leave a comment on what you think it would be. And if you want to make your version of the stone free evolutions, then, you know, like do it. <laughs> uh, you can add me on Twitter with your version. I'd love to see it. Uh, my Discord has an art tab. You can, you can go on there. Uh, you can also add me on Twitter if you see any Ermi's art. Uh, you know, like that. That's you, you can just do that. That'd be cool. Uh, I'm gonna need it under the artist tweet though, because I don't want y'all nabbing people's stuff. Like that's really wrong. Don't do that. Uh, but thank you all for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you on the next one. Until then, peace out and Godspeed.